good morning everybody. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Mal Williams here. We're on location this morning. It is beautiful Brownsville, Oregon. We're actually in the Pioneer Park of Brownsville's Old Town District or area. This is a beautiful old park and the reason that we are here this morning is my man Pete Sutton. Now Pete Sutton, as many of you know, we've had Pete on Marathon Mondays before. Pete is the head of marketing for Marathon and one thing that he's done, and this is his 10th year of doing it, is the famous and well-known and well sought after annual calendar for marathon coaches. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna see what Pete's doing. The reason we came out to Brownsville this morning is because of the beautiful setting and we wanted to see behind the scenes of what it takes to do the cover shoot for the calendar. This is the 2018 cover shoot for the calendar that Marathon puts out. So. We've got a whole crew out here. You've got Mickey and Sarah. You've got Pete out here. You've got Todd and Andrew. We've got the entire marketing crew from Marathon. Eddie Bach drove us down here. So we've got a beautiful coach. We've got a beautiful setting and we've got a beautiful marketing crew. And we're gonna check this out. So as you can see, Pete's getting ready to, uh, I think he's, what? are you waiting on lighting? Yeah, the sun, we just want to drop just a little bit. If you if you guys look up here at the leaves, how the sun behind them makes them glow, that's what we're kind of waiting for. I was out here a couple days ago when I was scouting it and it was, it made all those leaves behind the coach glow beautiful greens. So we got here a little earlier than I planned today. Uh, we were just a little bit more on the ball. Absolutely. So, uh, luckily the coach is completely in shadow, which is what we want in this case. For sure. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. It's it's framing up nicely. That's excellent. So you we I mentioned in my uh, intro here that you've done this for about ten years, um, and this is the cover shoot, correct? This is the cover. Okay. Yeah, the way that Steve, uh, who's the owner, likes me to do it is I give him three good choices. Oh. And uh, so this is our first of the three. Uh, We've got one more today. We'll give it a try uh, if I can get permission to use the building. And then um, one more shot on the way home. Then tomorrow we'll hit Harrisburg and get two shots. And hopefully out of those five shots, we'll pull three stellar shots that I can uh, toss his way and let him choose. And I'm sure, you know, 45 feet, 13 feet, four inches tall. Talk to us about the difficulty of shooting a 45 footer that is 13 yeah. and a half feet tall. It takes practice. It doesn't seem like it would be a big deal, but it actually is. You really got to scout it out. There's some beautiful stuff in Brownsville. I wish that I could shoot. It's a little bit more complicated, like Main Street. Uh, it's very busy, lots of cars, even though the buildings are these beautiful old buildings, right. still have the old hitching posts and everything else. But in reality, it's difficult. So you got to think about what's it going to do to traffic? You know, can you get the bus to stop long enough? Is it going to, can someone plow into you by accident? Right. Uh, we had to make sure that, you know, these branches were out of the way enough that we can get the bus in and out. Uh, so traffic's an issue and uh, the branches are an issue. This gravel road's very short. Otherwise we wouldn't have done it just because the coach would have been filthy. Right. So there's, there's all sorts of things you look at. Um, the other, thing that's really hard is you know you can find the most beautiful object in the world but it's a 45 foot long wall so you're putting that dead center so if your beautiful object behind it you don't see it so it's really got to be an environment that just allows you to put this huge pretty box right in the middle right so it's not like shooting a Ferrari no <laughs> it's a very large Ferrari at that yes, yes. that's very cool well, uh, really appreciate you allowing us to come out here and do a Marathon Mondays uh, and see how, uh, how this all goes down. I know the calendar is something that's very anticipated, not only by uh, our owners, uh, but by people from all over the world who love the calendar, people who come on our tours uh, mm -hmm. daily at 1130 at the Coburg location, they get the calendars. The Florida location has the calendars the Texas location has the calendars. So I know that there's a lot of people that fully anticipate seeing uh, the calendar. We love giving them away. Absolutely. So uh, with uh, no further ado, I think we're just going to uh, kind of spend some time watching Pete, watching Sarah, 
do what they do to get the shot set up and uh, I'm gonna go a little bit quiet and uh, yeah so thank you for joining us on Marathon Mondays with Mal if you have any questions you know how to reach me Mal W at MarathonCoach.com or you can make comments or questions right there on Facebook or YouTube and uh, yeah let's see what Pete and the crew are up to.